The JV Micah Project is a collection of musicians, engineers, and producers in Baltimore, Maryland, and in Miami, Florida. It was founded in 2006, but it stems from the Sex Project, that's S-C-C-T-S project in Miami back in the mid-90s. We classify ourselves as indie rock, pop, and mainstream. However, we're curious to see where others classify us. And that's the nuts and bolts of the band itself but it's really about getting a serious message out about the truths in our world. I'm a religious man and my faith compels me to write songs with deep humanistic meanings. I wouldn't say we're a Christian band because we have songs that are anything but. At the same time, I make many references to spiritualism and that's an important source of inspiration. We're influenced by bands such as Big Head Todd and the Monsters, Rick James, James Brown, In Excess. And we also try to incorporate some aspects of the blues greats, such as B.B. King, John Lee Hooker, and Buddy Guy. We're also inspired by some newer bands, such as Maroon 5. Funny thing is, they may influence us, but we always end up sounding like ourselves. I'm educated in Shakespeare and literature, so my lyrics are far deeper than they seem. The idea is to create music that everyone can understand, dance to, relate to, and for those that crave more meaning, it's, it's there and it's deep. Shakespeare taught me you can sum up an entire story with a single line. There are other musicians who have been able to do that, and I want to take it to another level without compromising the simplicity and groove of music. I have been a musician since the age of eight when I would record tracks using a voice recorder my dad bought for me. I would record myself tapping on tables and whistling. I started playing more mainstream instruments when I was about the age of 14. During my high school guitar class, I would sneak over to the keyboard room and play the electric piano and organ. The JV Micah Project major label interest. Um, we are currently working on a production deal with Tone Zone Studios in Miami with our engineer, Tracy Yock, with the intention of attracting some major label interest. We feel this music video will set us apart from other local bands and get us to the next level. And certainly, working with the director, uh, Colin Winsek, um, and being involved in the music video process will prepare us for the next level. The song you're about to hear, which is entitled Be At Ease, was inspired by some bad events that caused great episodes in my past relationships. Sometimes when you're with someone a long time, they get agitated by the slightest things, which is why I'm repeating chill out and you really have to be at ease because I'm trying to calm the other person down and at the same time, I want to be assertive. For this song, it was crucial to work with guitarist Brian Scheinhoft, who uses an original Matchless amp. The Matchless is a unique guitar amp and they don't make them anymore. Matchless still exists, but it's a new manufacturer, and from what he tells me, it isn't the same. For the overall sound I have found working with Tracy at Tone Zone, I get that big sound that I can't get out of the studios, which is why I choose to do most of the mixing in Miami.
Settle down. 